can use variables to hold data. Sometimes we have an unknown amount of data to hold. Sometimes we wish to work on a group of related data items as a group and still be able to separate out individual items to operate on. Arrays give us the way to do that. We can have arrays where the elements are accessed or indexed using a number, or we can have them accessed or indexed using a name. The simple version uses numbers. We'll look at that first. The index numbers begin at zero and go up to however many elements you add to it. Creating an empty array is done by creating a variable and assigning empty parentheses to it. The parentheses specified in a variable assignment like this specify a list of elements. Since there's nothing in the parentheses, we're creating an empty array. If we want to see what's in it, we can use echo and refer to the array like any other variable, and we'll see the first element in the array. This array is empty, so there's nothing in it. To add something to the array is very simple. We can do the array name plus equals to add an element. And if we're adding an element, we need to put it in parentheses so it knows that we're adding an array element. Again, if we look at the content of the variable, we see the first element of the array. We can also access that first element by giving the index number of the first element, which is index 0, specified inside square brackets after the variable name. Square brackets are special to the shell, so to make sure that's part of our variable name, we need to make sure to put curly braces around the entire name including the index. Then we see the first element. If we wanted to see how many elements we have, the same name is used with a number sign in front, but instead of saying only index zero, we use the at symbol to mean all indexes, all elements, and count them up with a number sign. And we'll see we have one element so far. If we wanted to add another element to the array, we can go ahead and do that. Just like before, we put parentheses around our data to say we are adding a new element to our array. We put our data inside the parentheses. The plus equals operator adds it to the array. If we look now, we will find that the count of elements in our array is two. We can still look at the first element of the array by looking at index 0. If we don't give the index and just give the variable name, by default we only get the first element. This will mess you up when you're scripting. If I wanted to see the second element, I would use index 1. I can go ahead and add as many elements to my array this way as I wish. In other words, I can dynamically grow it as needed when running my script to add as many elements as I wish. I've added a third element if I wish to see it. I need the index of the third element. Since we started zero, that would be two. If I wanted to see all of them, I use that special at index to mean all elements, and I would now display them if what I had meant was to count them in getting rid of an array variable is like any other variable. You do unset and the variable name. And if you were to then take a look at what's in my var, we would now find it doesn't exist again.